September 21st, a story of God's love. It was very early one morning. The birds were still sleeping in the trees. Mr. Redbird opened one sleepy eye and saw that it was almost time to get up. He thought he would let the other birds know. He whistled one loud, clear whistle. Cheer, wit, wit, wit. Then he closed his eyes for one more short nap. The other birds heard Mr. Redbird's whistle, but they were too sleepy to fly when they first woke up. For the first few minutes, everything was very still. Then all the birds began to chirp and twitter. A flock of sparrows flew up on a fence and began to chatter noisily. Cheep, 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 cheep. They hoped someone would throw some breadcrumbs to them. A boy picked up a rock and threw it. One of the little sparrows fell to the ground. God knew about it, and he was sorry. There were more sparrows than any other kind of bird. They were very plain. They did not have beautiful, bright feathers. They did not sing a pretty song. But God loved them as well as the other birds. He did not like to see one of them hurt. There were sparrows near Jesus' home, just as there are near our homes. One time Jesus wanted to tell people how much God loved them. He said, There are so many sparrows that you think that they are not worth much, yet God has not forgotten one of them. He knows it if even one falls to the ground. You people can do many more things than a sparrow. You are worth much more. If God can love the little sparrows as much as he does, don't you know that he loves you much more? We are glad that God loves the red birds and robins and sparrows. We are glad that he loves us. So with that, go to bed, get some sleep, and have sweet dreams. And remember, I love you, and God loves you too. Good night.